in my motherfucking town and all that shit. I live in Douglas Dillon, Georgia, motherfucker. All right? There's no shame. Every man, you could ask any nigga in Douglas Dillon where that nigga Shan live over there. Because I'm comfortable in my space. I don't never disrespect people. I treat everybody as human. All of that. So if you ever in my neighborhood, motherfucker, I'm coming to see you. But there's one stipulation, you motherfucker. And let me make this clear. You best to bring me a full pack of these motherfucking Moscato. If you show up without that shit, oh, I'm going to send your monkey ass right to Exxon. It's right up the street. I'm going to give you motherfucker. You got to GPS that shit? GPS that motherfucker. When you fucking come with shizzle... Full pack of these motherfuckers. I don't drink nothing but Moscato. Sut a home. Which goes back to can't find anything negative about Shan right now on the internet. So I can say, look, sut a home. I need an endorsement. <laughs> it's your man, Shizzle. One time for your mind, two time for your soul. I appreciate all y'all. Yes, I found my comfortable space where I can read y'all shit. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? But I found my comfortable space, but I'm not trying to do that because it still puts a strain on my eyes and my brain. So if I don't have my fucking glasses on, I'm not reading your shit. Nothing personal, but fuck you. I'm not going to go any more blind than I already am trying to read, read your little fucking tiny text font just to say what's up. Motherfucker, what's up to all of you niggas that's fucking with me right now? And that should cover it. Okay? <laughs> and it's your man, Sizzle. One time for your mind. Two time for your soul. I love each and every one of y'all. And like I said, it's a weekday and I don't expect all of that shit. I'm glad they took my page because y'all that come fuck with me, you got two minutes and shit. My car, fuck that. I ain't even got to be able to fucking see that shit to know you wrote a fucking paragraph, nigga. Yo, it's that you don't put yourself on the I'm up here and you down here. You stay on that same level, but regardless... I, I had to do that one. <laughs> nah, nigga, see, that's where the whole fucking game get fucked up. They've been teaching us that shit forever. I come from the era of each one teach one. Just like you, Walcott. We don't give a fuck. We don't want to get paid for our knowledge. People say, Shan, you should, you should write a book and make people pay for your subscriptions. No, motherfucker. I'm going to each one teach one motherfucker, okay? Because it's going to come down to a time where motherfucker, and I, nigga, I put a garden in my basement. I'm going to show y'all that shit. Y'all know shit will be doing a lot of shit on top of the other shit and this, that, blah, blah, blah. But I put a fucking garden in my basement. Why? Because I want to show my children how to motherfucking grow their own vegetables because there may be a time with all this GMO shit. And every time I look at the thing, everything that I feed my kids has that cancerous fucking or whatever the fuck that chemical that is fucking cancerous. Most of the things I feed my kids, fucking crackers or whatever the fuck, got that shit in it, and it's like, why the fuck do I want to fucking poison my kids, the chicken nuggets and all that shit, so what I do, see, since I'm a no teeth nigga and I like steak, I bought a meat grinder, right, and so instead of me buying chicken nuggets from the store that I know is not natural, I'll fucking put some chicken in the meat grinder, boom, 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 form that shit into a chicken nugget and put it in the Regular grease, oil, all you motherfucking non-cholesterol motherfuckers. I grew up on cholesterol. Fuck you. All right? <laughs> so, I make them chicken nuggets from scratch. In a minute, I'm going to pull up, pull back out my french fry maker. Because, you know, sometimes if you pull out a piece of cheese nowadays and you try and burn that shit, it doesn't burn. I like to use the nap so they say it's natural. Sargento and all the other shit. I don't fuck with certain things. Try and burn it. It just doesn't burn. And so, 
you worried about the vaccines and all these things that the government's supposed to have against you, right? They're putting it in your fucking food. They don't have to give you a fucking vaccination. Monsanto. Yo, what's up? I see you, Southside. Monsanto has collectively fucking took over the seed industry. A lot of fruit when you eat it. Some of that shit doesn't have seeds in it. You can't regrow it. You dig what I'm saying? And so there's a change in every geological fucking thing going on around you. The money system where the banks is going. Your money is going to have to go through your bank. And if your money is in that fucking bank, you have no choice that you're going to be locked into this governmental fucking fund system or whatever where they make money is obsolete no more, now we're fucking with this, so when you go to Amazon and you think you're gonna pay Amazon, before you go to Amazon, your shit is gonna go to this government shit, and they're gonna fucking declare whether you're, well, should, should you be able to buy this shit, so if you're buying some explosive type of fucking materials or whatever, 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 and they feel that you, nigga, you don't need that shit, They'll say no. They're not. They're gonna decline your fucking shit. But this is a lot of shit that's going on, and y'all motherfuckers that want to be blind to it, want to think that Shizzle is crazy because he curses a lot and all of that. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Look, I've been all right. Look, check this out. Southside, they kicked my old, my old MC Sham one. They kicked that shit. They kicked the whole. What you call it? They kicked that whole thing. Nope. But see, that's like a parolee getting locked up. Instagram gave me like a million warnings. Like, yo, I still was walking that fucking line. And then, they, you know, they give you that message. But this day I got a message. It was way different than the other messages that I got prior. <laughs> that shit was big and pronounced, motherfucker. You want to object? Give us 24 hours, say you object. But see, that was the AI that caught me. But when they went to get a human to review my account, oh, they really said, oh, hell the fuck, no. <laughs> fuck you, nigga. That account is banned. You can't access it. Fuck what you had up there. I'm going to fuck. It's out of here. So that's why I'm over here on the official MC Shan. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I know how to play the game. And I know how important this is to me for my prior and previous and upcoming projects and whatnot. And I know how much it is to me to fucking pass on the knowledge that I have. So it's more important to me to stay within their guidelines and we all fucking have to work with that terms of service. See, everybody likes to say freedom of speech. That is a governmental term. Freedom of speech. Oh, I can say whatever I want. Not on the internet. The internet is fucking put together with terms of service. Right? And corporations are not held under the same governmental constrictions as the government, where the government can't get in certain business. Your terms of service can be changed at any moment, and since you're so greedy and hungry to fucking press OK, you don't even read the terms of service to where your freedoms and all of that shit is being violated more and more. And it's not like it's being taken from you. You're giving it freely. People used to be afraid of the fucking government. Let me tell you something. The government is not the motherfucker to be afraid of anymore. He who owns the information is the motherfucker in, in control. Mark Zuckerberg. Motherfucking Elon Musk, now that he owns Twitter, Mark Zuckerberg owns Instagram, and several others, right? The government don't have the motherfucking thing, and you done fucking already clicked okay in your terms of service because you're so starving to be 
popular and go viral. You just don't understand that you violated every constant. You let these internet service providers violate every constitutional right that was under your belt underneath the government freely. I love you too, Jazz. I see you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a lot deeper. You dig what I'm saying? Like I said, in a minute, we're not going to be able to use our bank cards and shit the way that motherfucking that one world shit. Y'all niggas ain't seeing it. And you want to know why you're not seeing it? Because you're too busy trying to impress another broke motherfucker that ain't got as much as you got. Let me show this broke nigga I could drive a band. Let me show this broke nigga I could buy this jewelry. That's what your problem is. Too busy trying to impress other broke motherfuckers instead of broke motherfuckers coming together and trying to get some real money because it's out here. But you want to be stuck sitting on the internet pressing motherfucking yes to your terms of service and scream. I know my rights. Right? Let me tell y'all another one. We're going to laugh at this one, right? Let me tell you who the police know who to violate first, right? The police know to violate and beat the shit out of these motherfuckers, right? The nigga that sit there and says, you can't do this to me, I know my rights. They gonna beat your motherfucking ass. Why? They don't know, they know you don't know a motherfucking thing. Because any motherfucker that knew they right, they would invoke they right to remain silent from the minute. That the police walk up on you. You give them your fucking identification and all things that keep you within the fucking law. Pass it out the window. You ain't got to say a motherfucking word. They know what the shit is. You only got to crack the window this motherfucking much. There ain't no reason for you to be. See, but if you don't know these rights, you're going to get fucked. And you're going to be the first nigga talking about window wide the fuck down. I know my rights. He know you don't know your shit. He about to beat your motherfucking ass, you stupid motherfucker. Because a nigga that know his rights ain't going to say shit. He going to pass him a license, comply with everything that he motherfucking talking about. Why? Because he not got them fucking shits on they fucking chest that record every motherfucking movement and word you say. So now, if you pull over... They gonna know you know something, right? When you get pulled over, you motherfucking turn the interior lights on if you get a chance. P put your window down, take the keys out, put your motherfucking keys on the fucking top. Make sure they can see and put both of the motherfucking hands on the steering wheel. You ain't got nothing to be scared of the police, motherfucker. You ain't got to fucking be scared of these fuck-ass niggas unless you got something to be scared of. And if you riding around dirty and you fucking went above the speed limit, you stupid motherfucker, or you riding dirty with a broken-ass tail like something that you should have fixed in the first place knowing you doing some dirty shit. Ain't nobody got no sympathy for you, you stupid motherfucker. You should have came and seen your Uncle Shizzle, nigga, so I could put you up on some fucking game is all of what I'm saying. All right? But nigga, get them motherfuckers that shit, and they know you know something. But if you say, motherfucking, I know my right, they know you don't know shit. They gonna beat your ass. Have the right to remain solid, right? Every question that they ask you from the time you roll your window down, that's called an on-scene investigation. But long before you say... Long before they read you your Miranda rights, right? They're investigating you right at that moment, asking you questions. Where you coming from? This way. You can be a smart ass about it and still but it be within the law. Where you coming from? That way. Where you going? That way. Still be within the law. You don't have to fucking reveal your motherfucking destination, motherfucker. Fuck is this? It ain't martial law yet. You dig what I'm saying? He gonna go back and read your shit. And if you ain't got nothing to worry about, motherfucker, that's the way it is. Alright? You don't have to upscale that shit. But all you motherfuckers, I'm telling you. If you say, ooh, I know my rights. That's the wrong thing to say. Straight the fuck out. You just shut the fuck up, nigga. 
Because they're investigating you from that point on before they read you your Miranda rights. And when you go to court and you try and change your story, what they're going to say, what's up, yo, I see you. What they're going to say is, look, here's the tape. This is what he said at the time of the incident. And when you lie, being a fucking liar, see, this is where fucking being a fuck-ass liar comes in. When you lie, you have to remember your prior lie to keep the story going. And so, fuck lying. If you tell the motherfucking truth from minute one, it's going to stay the truth from minute one to minute end. And so, if you shut the fuck up from the time they pull your dumb ass over... Give me a license, register, that's all they require. <clears throat> fuck that, if you ain't got no warrants, take your ticket, shut the fuck up and go the fuck on. Alright? That's the end of that. You don't fight the fight in the street with the police. The place where you fight that fight is in a court of law. Those police are there to do their fucking job. Let them do their fucking job. You don't get shot in the face because you a nigga anyway. Talking that bullshit, I know my rights. Oh, officer, fuck you. Nigga, you go to court and you fight that shit. That's where you do that shit. Yeah, Shizzle is a dumbass nigga. But look at the fucking jewels I got for my fucking black folks and shit for free. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Fuck about a podcast making all that money. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to live regardless. Why? A good friend is better than money any day. Now, wild card. I'm going to show you how it works with a good friend. If I called you up and I said, yo, wild card. I'm fucking starving, my nigga. I need a steak because you motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? I guarantee you that wild card will send me a motherfucker. Yo, nigga, check your cash out. I'm going to fucking send you a steak. Because it ain't about money with us. It's about friends and vibes. And so, if you've got a good friend, you're never going to go hungry. You're never going to go broke. Okay? Because if your good friend has 20 cents and you need 10 cents of that 20 cents, they're going to give that shit to you. And you're going to be able to come back up because they have that belief in you that they gave you half of what they have. That's all they got to their fucking name. But they trust you enough because you've proven that you're a friend, a comrade, a motherfucking through and through. That they took their last 20 cents and gave you 10 cents of it. And if you're the man and the fucking person that you say you are, you say, I'm going to give you this shit back, motherfucking, in two days, you bring that nigga his fucking ten cents back with extra in two days, like you said, because you ain't got nothing but your motherfucking word on this planet Earth. Fuck what you're talking about. And if your word ain't good, you fucked. Now, not only did he give you that ten cents, to fucking put you back on your feet. Now you back on your feet. And you show your gratitude. And say yo my nigga. Here go that money you gave me. And boom check this out. Here go an envelope with some other shit. Don't you even worry about it nigga. Cause that's how we do. A good friend. Is better than money. Any motherfucking day. So if you value your friends. On the dollar amount that you can get from them. And what they can do for you. And you're not true. You can save yourself from a lot of headaches. You do things for people out of your heart. You never do things for people. And expect them to do the same in return for you. Because I always say you got one brain. And it's split in halves, right? Let's say that this side of your brain is all the good positive shit that you do to get this money, right? But this half is all that shit that you expected. You done gave this nigga that. You done gave this nigga that. So you got a whole half of your brain clotted up with all the fucking bullshit. Clear your mind of it. If you do something for somebody, never worry about them doing the same for you. If they don't do it, 
you know where to place them in your cycle of life. You will never do it for them again, regardless to whether they motherfucking need you to spit on them when they on fire. You be like, nigga, you on fire, bitch. I'm swallowing that lungy. You dig what I'm saying? And that's how life works. It's your Uncle Shizzle. One time for your mind, two time for your soul. That's right. I am my brother's keeper. Each one motherfucking teach one. I'm still on that bullshit. You don't have to be rich to be happy. I'm not rich. I just know how to spend a little bit of money I got. You got motherfuckers. Look, I'm, let's be some real shit. <laughs> and I'm laughing because it's a real deal, right? Let's be some real shit. You be hearing motherfuckers running around with their dentist stories, right? And these motherfuckers been paid 20000 30000 to get their fucking teeth fixed, right? Me? I paid 7000 right? Of which, I took 3000 out my pocket just to break down the credit shit. But when I did that, them niggas still gave me that fucking 3000 extra credit that I could use whatever fuck. Right? But in the end of the day, you got motherfuckers running around here with $40,000 worth of teeth in their mouth. Right? And they don't own a house. They don't own a car. And that's the two main things that motherfuckers should have. Those teeth in their mouth is a Mercedes Benz. And they don't even drive a Mercedes Benz. But yet they want to look good for y'all and shit. <laughs> Your man shovel on some other shit. I paid 7000 for my shit. And I look good like a motherfucker when I decide I want to put them shit in. See, that's what the butt it is. When you're a boss, nigga, you make decisions. I'm a boss, nigga. Better know what that is. And if you're gonna live like a boss, be a boss, talk that boss shit, better, better be able to motherfucking withstand that shit when it come back at you, motherfucker. My, checks, mother, my chest is motherfucking reflexible, nigga. <laughs> if I shoot that shit, motherfucker, I can take it, alright? That's another lesson, nigga. Don't spit on another nigga if you don't want spit put back on you. So it's your man, Shizzle. One time for your mind, I appreciate your company. And the whole nine, I know that I'm just, I'm different. I'm different. <laughs> but none of that shit matters to me as long as I can stay grounded and be who I am and do what I do. I hope y'all enjoy the things that I bring to you. Yo, listen, I'm an old nigga, Wildcard. Just like you, nigga. That's why you be careful with the shit you doing. Because if you break something, a two-week fucking healing process when you were 25 turns into six months when you 57 or 58. I don't know which one of them numbers I am, but it's one of them 57s or 8s, all right? And so every time I touch some, hey, Prevka, how you doing, darling? Every time I touch some, I fuck my shit up again. And so since I know that and I just can't stop working and doing shit, I said, fuck it, let me show you again. I went and bought my own cast material. It's the same shit they use in the doctor. I bought it from Amazon, right? And I put my own cast on these shits. I don't make them big and thick like the doctor would have made it. Because in two days, I'm going to cut this bitch off. And I'm glad all as well. In two days, I'm going to cut this bitch off because it's going to be dirty because I got to do all that other shit. And it looks like a regular cast on the black tape. But since I do not as much as the doctor, I needed some shit to make it sturdy over here. Because most of the sturdiness is on the side. This is where I need that protection from shit fucking me up as I hit a wrench or something. Okay, so not only do I fix fucking cars and make shit September 6th. Okay, there you go. Somebody know my shit. There you go. And I know you ain't get it from Wikipedia because them motherfuckers got me listed as September 9th and shit. So I'm 57. <laughs> Usually my daughter reminds me of that. 
because if I'm 57, she's 27. That the last number in my birthday or, or my age is the last number in hers. But 20 years, uh, you know. <laughs> but I'm 57, y'all. The Black MacGyver, you all right. But look, you want to see some shit? Watch my videos coming up, nigga. You think Shizzle ain't about that tool time shit? I didn't put those videos up yet. Because, you know, I'm constantly doing it. And I decided I wanted to go live with my folks and do what I do and shit. Because I love y'all. And I tried to make a six minute video and that shit didn't work. And I can't talk that much. Nigga, shit, I talk longer than six minutes. Fuck that. <laughs> but I'm going to edit the video. And put that shit up and show y'all what your man Shizzle is up to. Cool time with Shizzle is real shit, my nigga. I'm not one of these motherfuckers that when the camera go off, the little L6 my shit. No, I actually do it. And so, we're going to get to seeing Shizzle with Tool Time as I put on these fucking shock absorbers and put these brakes in and jack my own car up, put the system in, I'll show y'all how I already start. I'm like the Dapper Dan motherfucker of fucking custom cars and shit. You know how that nigga make your shit custom suit? Nigga, I make my shit custom. Watch how I fucking fucking rock with that. Watch how I flip my GL450 in motherfucking the next week gonna be only a week. Only thing I gotta wait for is the shocks to get here. But I ain't gonna know what shocks to get till I lift the bitch up and take the ones that I got in the motherfucker out. Cause I don't wanna just assume that that's the shit. Cause you could always be fooled by pictures and whatnot. But stay tuned to your man Shizzle. Like I said, y'all see a lot of shit on these shows. They say, don't try this at home. Well, the Shizzle Show is all about motherfucking try this at home because nothing is rocket science but rocket science. Everything else is common sense. If you live by that rule, you're going to tackle most jobs that you thought that you could never do in your life. And if you watch all the shit that Shizzle does... I would hope that it would inspire you because you would say, this dumbass rap ass nigga, this nigga be building shit, party buses, I got a couple of party buses under my belt, y'all could look on my timeline and see them right now, go ahead and look, I did a, I did my man Vince party bus like last week, I got a bus in my backyard that I'm going to turn into a barber shop. But I'm not looking to earn profit on the motherfucker. I'm looking to give it away. I'm not a rich motherfucker. But it's only going to work if I can get the sponsors to make it happen with the tools and the wood and all of that shit. Because I want to give it away. Just like motherfuckers gave me a shot. And, and it's going to be a whole show. And it's right here in Atlanta for at the time being. You got to start fucking. You got to crawl before you can walk. And so I'm going to get four barbers. And I want to hear their life story. But they can't tell it. Their family has to send an email in to motherfucking Tool Time with Shizzle at Gmail. And say, well, I think my family member deserves this bus. And me and my staff, like I said, I'm in my office. So me and my staff, me, myself, and I, will check these emails. And we will come out and we will film. We're going to check your hair cut out. See how your customers fuck with you. How much love you get in the hood and all that shit. And you're going to get a bus for fucking free. A mobile barbershop of your fucking own. Okay? So that's how your man Chisel get, gives back. Some of y'all have seen the bus in my backyard. The barber chair downstairs. All the materials are there to build it. Alright? But in order f to make it motherfucking. I'm a businessman in the end of the day. I'd love to give this shit to you. But what's going to make it work is sponsors. And I'm not talking about me getting rich. Just motherfucking, I need the materials to build this shit. I need motherfuckers to send me motherfucking t-shirts like this shit so I can sponsor. I want to make everybody happy. Motherfucking, today my sponsor is blah, blah, blah. You know I always fucking sponsor my motherfucking official clothesline, Up Top Apparel and J Nice underscore 21. They make all my hoodies, all my sweatshirts, all that shit like that. Them are my official sponsors. But guess what? That don't mean that I won't fucking film this show 
with your shirt on. No money involved. I don't want your money. My thing is to try and help my folks. And so, if I like, just like Jay Nice and Up Top Apparel, they've been getting sales for free. And I don't ask them for a fucking dime or what the fuck. That's their money. So, if I can wear your shirt and something that I'm doing, just to say, yo, my sponsor today is... Blah, blah, blah. You don't know. You really doing me a favor because I'm a fucking bum. I don't buy clothes. And so when they send me them sweatshirts, them hoodies, y'all see me rocking in the shirts and shit like this, they're actually doing me a favor. They're actually clothing me for real. Because if not, y'all would see me in the same fucking sweatshirt or t-shirt because I'm a bum ass nigga. Let me show you my pants, nigga. Look at that shit. You see that shit? Dirt down the motherfucking what you call. I'm no fashion plate. You think that's the only hole in the knee? Look at this motherfucker. I'm not playing with you, nigga. I'm not no fashion plate ass motherfucker. I do this shit for real. Every day I work. Grind. Look at my fucking hands, nigga. I got fucking oil on my shit. I gotta wash off. I'm kind of mad. Because I don't want to wet this, so I'm going to have to fucking scrub that shit each finger with a fucking wash rag when I should have kept the glove on. But like I said, y'all sponsors, y'all motherfucking keep me clothed. Alright? And so the payback is, I don't want none. Thank you, nigga. You gave me enough. You gave me motherfucking shirts that I could wear during my program. Although I got my own shirt, motherfucker, and I got my tool time with shizzle shirt that you're going to buy, my tool time with shizzle hat that you're going to see me wear during the intro of my show. But as soon as the real action starts and I got to pull out a motherfucking drill or this and that, your shirt is going to be the shit that I'm wearing. Today's sponsor, while we do blah, 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 y'all can get that shit at boom, 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 boom. Yo, what's up? I see you, see? You dig what I'm saying? And so, that's how your man Shizzle gives back. Even if it's not in monetary value, whatever I can fucking help you with, because everybody needs help at one point, and I'm one of those motherfuckers. Like I said, each one teach one. It's not about the motherfucking money. It's about having friends, motherfucker. If you got friends, you ain't never gonna go broke. You ain't never gonna go hungry at all. Your kids ain't never gonna starve. And if you a real ass nigga that pay your debts and gotta borrow from a motherfucker to say, yo nigga, I got to come up, ba 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 ba. Your real friend, like I said earlier, he can have 20 cents to his fucking name. You a real nigga, you stand on your morals, you pay motherfuckers back, and you don't play niggas, guess what? When you got a friend and you fucked up, that motherfucker gonna give you 10 cent of the only 20 cent that he has into his fucking name. Because he loves you, and he believes in you. And so, sometimes, money... Is not the most important. So if you're a nigga looking at a nigga, oh, you got money, you got money, fuck you. I'd rather have a good friend than money any day. And that's the message that I'm going to leave you with. I'm going to take a sip of whistle to y'all and thank y'all for fucking with me. I see you, H money. H money age. <laughs> I see it, see, I, t I told y'all I found my range that I don't need to get my glasses. If I sit right here, I can read all that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm going to leave y'all with that. I'm going to take a sip to y'all. Thank y'all for coming by, fucking with your man Shizzle. And listening to my babbling and whatnot. But y'all are the only friends. Y'all don't never see nobody around me, right? I'm a solo fucking introvert, for real. I got my closest people, but I can't put them on camera because them motherfuckers is into what the fuck they into, nigga. Move from by me, nigga. I don't want you to be indicted in your bullshit. Move. 
Because my friends are my friends and I don't give a fuck what they do in their life. Nigga, that's you. I'm going to love you all day. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with everybody. So your man Shizzle, take a sip to y'all to fuck with me in return. Appreciate y'all. Oh, you thought that was it. I got another fresh one. Aha. Uh -huh. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you. And like I said, if y'all stay tuned, like right now, my brain is jumbled and shit. I got a lot of things going on, but it's getting together. I'm cleaning up, put my studio shit together, like I so said. You'll see it a little late on the next videos and whatnot, where I'm going with it. And I hope you learn something from it, man. I appreciate y'all fucking with your man, Shiloh. I got work to do. Gotta go get to it. Appreciate y'all for checking in with your man. Goodbye. Ain't nothing standing between you and success, but they have an opportunity, nigga. Time to get it. <laughs> All right.